Hello and welcome back to another review, me Kevin and Kevin Grant on Whiskey. This week I've got something from the supermarket. This is Sainsbury's Taste the Difference and this is the Highland Single Malt. That's all I really know, there's nothing there to tell me where it's from, although it's Highland Single Malt. That's all we've got, no distillery, a little bit of tasting notes on there, 40% and a little bit of white oak and cherry casks from Spain. So that's the only information I've got. I've been looking about, I've been trying to find some things on it and the only thing that I can find is White and Mackay bottle for the, the Sainsbury's so they've got a Highland, I think they've got a Speyside and I think there could be an Isla from there I'm not 100% on that but I do have the Highland and the Speyside so as you can see this isn't open, I'm going to open this see what it's all about, get it in the glass. This might be a wee quick review because I don't have much story behind it, but I'm going to try and see if we can find out, maybe taste-wise, if it's something I've tried before and, and get on there. The first thing I'd like to point towards is the price. This was £18 for a single malt scotch, 40%. So it's good in that sense, we just don't know what it is. Let's see if it's still got a good pop. Yep, satisfying, I'm happy with that. A nice glug as well. So colour wise and things, I'm definitely going to say it's coloured. There's nothing on there to say it's not. Definitely chill filtered, but £18 can't be complained. We'll, we'll find out in a minute. So if you look at White Mackay, we can distinguish who they own, what brands they have. So we've got the big gun of Dalmore, they've got Fair Cairn, they've got Jura. Um, who else do they have there? <laughs> That's the three kind of big ones. I think they've got Invergordon Distillery as well, which is their, their grain. So if we're looking at the Highland side of things, about Tam the Bull and that's our space side, but if we look at the Highland, we're looking at Feta Cairn, Dalmore, and Jura. This says it's a single malt, not a single blend. It's from one distillery. We can get that from the single malt Scotch whiskey, but we just don't know from what distillery. If I was to kind of guess myself, is it going to be Dalmore? I'd be very surprised if it is, because you, you very rarely see Dalmore out there. Um, especially for, for that price, even though it's hidden and we don't know what's on there. Feta Cairn, I could be maybe torn towards that. I've not smelled it yet, but maybe I smell it and get maybe a bit of funk and things. We could maybe get that, that Jura from it. Jura for me is just a little bit inconsistent. So sometimes I can usually pick it out um, from that. We'll get this on the nose. We'll see if we can dive in and make up some assumptions from what it might be. So let's get this on the nose first of all. Legwise, there's not much going on as it is 40%. They're just they're coming down very quick, but that's expected. It's very light. There's a lot of fruit there though. Definitely kind of uh, like a Black Forest Gato style fruits on top there. You kind of darker berries, raspberries, a little bit of cherry, a little bit of maybe mashed up fruit in it. I'm feeling like I'm having to really smell it to get something because of 40%, it's been watered down to its legal limit to be called scotch. Very, very fruit driven. A wee tiny hint of citrus, but nothing, nothing else. Very, very fruit, fruit driven. Maybe that kind of soft caramel in there as well, a little bit of fudge, a wee bit of toffee. That's going to be from that sherry note. Let's try this anyway. Let's see what we get in the palette. See if it gives me anything else. Slangy or no? It's gone. Like... It was there for a second, then it just disappears off the palette. It was, it was okay there. It wasn't anything super exciting. That's quite funny. That says Black Forest Fruits on that as a tasting note. And I definitely, definitely got that. Um, I'm going to have to go for an wee sip here because I've kind of missed that flavour. I expect it to be a bit longer on the palate there.
I can't really figure out what that is. What's going on there? No spice. There's... It stays the kind of typical sherry notes, but it is just a very quick finish. This is a super easy drinking whiskey. This is definitely something, if I was to start my night and have a wee whiskey flight, this is something I would reach for. I think it would be, it does really well to um, uh, calibrate the palate just before you're going on to kind of be stronger, a bit more um, difficult whiskies to try and break down. This here, but it says a black forest fruits on it for sure, that kind of soft fudgy toffee note as well. They're the two kind of main flavours and smells I'm getting from it. Maybe a wee bit of oak in there. It does say it's a white oak and sherry. So there's that kind of soft oakiness coming through now. Just being able to revisit. But it's just a palette. I don't know what I've done with my, um, my wee dropper. <laughs> Find it. So it's at 40%, but I think we'll just put some water in it. We'll try it at 40% just to see if it opens it up anymore, changes anything. And that will see what we'll give us. See if we can get one more wee flavour from it or something. Let it excite the palate a bit more, see if it opens up. No, it doesn't really open up. It's It smells better than it tastes, if that makes sense. 18 pounds, I'm not going to grudge at it. <clears throat> It's just very soft on the palate, very, very easy, quite simple, but the nose has got a bit more complexity to it, I would say. But £18 for a single malt, yes, we don't know what it is. When you look at White and Mackay blends itself, White and Mackay blend, there's 41 different whiskies in there from single malts, eh, from malts to grains. So White and Mackay do have a lot of buying power, which they could be buying from somewhere in the islands and then transferring that out into into this they just bottle for them if i was to take a stab at it i'm looking potentially would i stick my head out and say judah i just don't know i don't know what it is i'll need to try and phone i don't know if you can phone sainsbury's and get through to someone that maybe tell me but it's okay 18 pounds i would buy it again if it was gone Maybe this will get better once it's opened up a little bit more. It's just maybe a, a tight neck pour at first. But it's just got a bit different on the nose than it is to the palate. But I'll probably go and sit back and see if I can find out some more. Try and maybe get a few different notes from it. I usually take some notes here of like a little bit of a story and things. And all I've got written here for that is Sainsbury's Highland Whiskey. When nothing else, I don't know anything about it. That's a fun of whiskey, right? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and sit back and enjoy it. As always, if you've liked this video and you like to see more, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe for weekly content. Next week's video is going to be about the Glasgow Whiskey Festival. I'm going to take my camera with me. I'm going to try and record today as best I can. And then I'm going to review the Glasgow Whiskey Festival and is it something that you should go to and how festivals are for... People that enjoy whiskey, people that have never drank whiskey, and people that know everything about whiskey. And I'm going to try and review it the best that I can and pick a favourite whiskey on the day too. So if you're there next week, um, come and say hi. See if you can see me. I'm happy to chat, have a chat with you, happy to share a wee dram as well. But as I say, I'm going to go back just now. I'm going to go and relax with this dram, see if I can find out some more. And see if it wants to open up a little bit more to me. But we'll just wait and see. But as always, I've been Kevin from Kevin Grant on Whiskey. Join me next week. Let's talk whiskey. Fudge.